so hey guys I'm going to the gynecologist the vagina doctor um, and yeah I'm excited but nervous at the same time due to what's going on with my body but yeah hopefully I can bring you inside but if not I'll update you afterwards so yeah see you Okay, guys, so I'm at the gynecologist's office. However, I will not be able to be the inside because they don't allow it. So I will let you guys know how it goes. Yeah, so I will let you guys know how it goes and um, yeah, when I get out, I'll be back. Alright, so this is the other one. What we do is take it and hold on So hey guys welcome back to my channel and um, this is the next day following up on my video on going to the gynecologist the vagina doctor and um, yes as you can see by the comments down by the title down below we're gonna be doing a video ignore friend right or so ignore but yeah we're gonna be doing um, an update on all my visit went and we're going to be talking about kinks and quirks um, in relation to sex and um, Valentine's Day is coming up so it's the perfect time to be talking about sex because that's all you are gonna be doing on Valentine's Day so we're gonna inform you on the do's and the don'ts <laughs> all right so disclaimer I am not a sex expert nor do I intend to be but if you are under the age of 18 please exit this video it is not for you okay so we are gonna get right into it and um, we're gonna be starting off with a bang Ignore the nice red stuff for me, please. So we're gonna be starting off with a bang. Um, tabooed sex in Jamaica. So I have on my paper here. It entails oral sex, kinky stuff such as fetishes, such as peeing on each other, which is. Um, called golden shower and feces it's a thing it's a thing now guys where men or women are into these things where they want the person to pass feces on them so um I'm sure wax from people yeah and wax and all them good stuff there so okay. like I don't know my view on this particular thing fetish is just that no no I wanna get them weird something from nobody have this from talk shoot talk shoot talk shoot now where's the defecation part like guys it is not a thing it's not cute but I don't know about some people but it's not cute for me per se okay so I don't know that's not we're gonna leave that in 2020 we're now in 2021 <laughs> that is not a thing I mean oral sex everybody is doing it it's a thing 
it's in and I mean like if it is if it is your thing then I can see with it because it's a part of pleasuring your partner and um, like I said if you are going to do it don't do it for the person do it for yourself don't let anybody force you into doing anything that you don't want to do it should be your decision so partake in this activity and don't need to know your change partner is it? right a designated partner guys and like i don't i don't think there's a condom for most so you guys can catch things in your mouth through well then don't make him on put your hand <laughs> oh what <laughs> that none at all a while ago oh that go oh wait really and truly go guys guys mm -mm. may I pretend like me never hear you a while ago I'm not speaking from experience people right, it was just a suggestion generally generally we are talking about now and we are going into choking bandage and um Blindfolds. I think a little bit of choking is sexy. It's like squeeze my neck, squeeze my breast. No sex when you're attractive. Yeah, don't don't cut off my breasts. I will sing that. Squeeze my neck, squeeze my breasts. You will do it best. You will leave my. Again? Yes, guys. Um, I think a little bit of choking is sexy, but not too much. I think if you are going to indulge in this, you should have like a safe word. It has to be with somebody that you trust. It cannot be that you just gonna make one random person just a blindfold you, a handcuff you, a choke you out. Like <laughs> <laughs> it can result in death, guys. Imagine breaking news. A young 21 year old died on a dick choking. We don't want that. So, have a safe word. So, these are tips for Valentine's Day and that you can take beyond Valentine's Day. So, like, guys, choking is sexy. Do a little, little. Don't do too much. Don't go overboard. And men tend to be a lot more aggressive when they reach the peak of climaxing so females be aware of this have a safe word like i said um not make the man kill you basically blindfold is a thing guys blindfold because it heightens the rest of your senses that it says um when you lose one of your senses the rest are heightened so yeah. your body the sensation nice man. all right let's go so i got expert do <laughs> Anyways, guys, does size matter? And like here, my friend here, he was on that. Does size matter, Jamila? I mean, <coughs> come. We have a size three, and then you have ah. Me. I mean. <laughs> That's gonna be a problem because I have the bottom. I have the bottom, guys. But yeah. I mean, let me say, some men have some small, men. but they you know really know small to... in between, yeah. but they know how to use it. Right. I'm gonna ask, guys. Them say good things comes in small packages. Small, I'm gonna cut down the tree. It's just so experienced, though, guys. <laughs> She sound like she attack her too. No. <gasps> yeah, right there. So, I mean, for me personally, it does matter. As much as we might not want to admit it, it does matter because I think most females w doesn't want a small eggplant. They want a big, veiny. Some of them want to and can't even manage you. That are true because females, you have to know what you are able to take because some females have small passages. They aren't able to take the big things. So a smaller thing would work for them. 
but I mean yeah. it does matter as much as all <coughs> we would like to say it doesn't matter it does it matter because yeah. most female want a big thing to hurt up them belly and guys sometimes pain doesn't make the sex fun because it's just pain and you aren't being pleasure am I right right so it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to be in pain to be pleasured sex isn't that sex isn't that sex is supposed to be fluid fun pleasure and um and that's on mary had a little lamb baby baby okay i would not know virgin squad virgin squad over here so period <laughs> <laughs> oh that's on period honey that's on period so yes, for me, it does. As much as how we would want to admit it, but it does matter. The next thing we're going to be talking about is men with more than average um, stamina. So it's like men that, are, this is a quirk for me. So like you're on me too long. I want you to be done with it. Like, like you know why you feel go one hour, two hour. I mean, thirty-five minutes or even less can get the job done. I don't want you to be on me that long. You met me, my my female part, my melon, my cool. You have to that thirty minutes and then one go. You want your right. you rest and go on. It doesn't work like that, guys. It does not work like that. So, like, you ought to know when to stop. Foreplay is important. So, you stop in between. You know, do I like a foreplay? I like a touch up and I like a touch up. Right, the stuff. You're married. <laughs> no, no, no. Guys, I did my research on this for this particular <laughs> video, okay? So, yeah. If we saw like an expert, I went and did my, my, my research. Anyways, so the next thing is... Anyways, yeah guys, so the next thing is um, the art of foreplay, right? So in foreplay, you ought to know your females, her likes and her dislikes, and likewise, you have to know your, your partner the male partner um his likes and his dislikes right and one key factor that i think a lot of men they don't like to do it but i think it's very much important because it kind of like peaks or it builds the sexual feeling or tension or you know it is communication whether it is morning or it is you talking during the process. Me no means saying that you ears now, you know. Like when you're doing it. Like I don't want it to be dead silent. Like talk to me, talk dirty to me. Like say some, say some things. Say some things. Oh yeah, look for. Let's see, I look up this one. Oh, what is that? Don't do that. Anyways, so I think that is one important thing, guys, that men need to, you know, make it a thing. Because a lot of men don't like doing it for whatever reason. But yeah. But then, why them wanna go talk? If you not I mean, talk, like, not talk neither. Like, you know, one time, like I've seen in the movies, guys, when the person is doing it, and like, my spunk you wanna say, who, who's, who's something is this? Like, you watch too much TV. <laughs> <laughs> like, whose goods is this? Who's, who's with JJ is this, right? It's like, I like it. Like, like, you know, some sexy. It, 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 you know, it made a female feel like, say, yo, she has to stop. You yeah. understand? Likewise, you made a man feel like, say, him at the stop. So, so, that is on that. And um, so yes, guys, be sure that you know your partners and they, like I said, know what they like, what they don't like. 
and um we're gonna be talking about this term it's called queef this is the sound that the vagina makes when intercourse is happening and air mm -hmm. like it's Ribbon. called queefing it's like the vagina fart you know the I can't make the sound effect right now. I can't make the sound effects, guys. But um, it's called. It's that sound that I would want to, but I can't. But it's that farting sound that the vagina makes, right? People with a vagina would know. All right. So um, it's called queefing, and most females are embarrassed about it. I don't think it's anything to be embarrassed about because it's like it's natural this happens when like mo what from what i've read it is from um when the female is in the ass down face of position air enters into the vagina when the in and out action is going on reality hit her anyways um that i don't think it's anything to be embarrassed about a lot of men like like it I also mean, um, are disgusted by it, but it's just natural, we can't do anything about it. You, men, like you, you guys aren't in any position to judge because a lot of you will be walking around here with cheesy ass dicks and be just going naked on anybody. So, yeah, that's on that. So, um, like I said embrace your bodies females your stretch marks your every part of you your being it is beautiful and we're going to touch on the topic of hygiene sexually guys just be it just be yes. it just be it because nobody wants to like on a love oral sex and something i know you can not be excited and wash up though, yeah so. yeah it's like it's common courtesy you aren't going to enter my vagina if you don't be like if I come off of the road, I'm gonna know where you come from. And you're not fresh out of the shower, you gotta be it before the action takes place, right? So I just think it's natural hygiene. Beard, nobody no one push no toti, don't them chew up, no cheesy toti. Nobody no one smell that when they're going inside the coach, the box, the JJ. No man wants to smell it. And another thing, a lot of men are doing these things still knowing that the, the the vagina has like a funky or distasteful smell but they still do because i've had conversations with my male friends that say the, the girl vagina did smell off but still them do it because them say the sex is good so males beware because that's nasty if she has like a, a little problem or a problem talk to her about it you guys can go see a gynecologist Oh, speaking of gynecologists, guys, I could not bring you guys inside, but everything went well. The customer service was good. If you want to know where she's located or him, um, they are located in Maypen on Bargain Village Plaza, right upstairs across from KFC. So, Dr. Uh, Potter. Dr. Potter. Oh my God. That's He's good thing. guys. Check him out if you have a vagina issue or just to check up because we females need to check up on our vaginas. Valentine's Day is coming up guys. Perfect time. Use the opportunity. Go check your vaginas out. Um, do the pop smear. Just to be on the safer side and practice safe sex guys. Um, two weeks from now, two weeks from Valentine's Day. You will be ovulating so make sure you buy the morning after pill before you even start Valentine's Day so if no miss up um, you are on the safe side yeah, I know right we are we are gorgeous <laughs> a couple of November babies Scorpio she's a Scorpio too guys if you're wondering why we vibe so well and that's on Pool. so guys we have come to the end of this video if you would like to see more videos like this comment down below if you have any questions drop them down below 
and if you have made it to the end of this video please so drop the word pum pum in the comments <laughs> yes guys so be like be sure to like comment share subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified when i dropped my next drop my next video okay and that's on period and that's a wrap guys bye <laughs> see you next time guys